That's good. Now I'm just debating if I want to wait for the letters to come in closer or not. Oh, they're getting. Well, like, probably getting closer. There we go. Well, as it picks up the object floating in the water, it appears to be a string of letters that spell, Where are you going? Well, as it decides to keep the odd sentence, even though it is incomplete. Mm -hmm. Is it gra grammar Nazi? Well, he's a prince. He has to be. Oh, there it is. Well, let's go back. The pearl will probably gets a ring back. Oh, good point. I open round. Here we come. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, never gets old. Hello, birdie. Tweet tweet. What? Oh, that's right. You have to get rid of the junk. Let's be creeper. Rummage, rummage, my rummage. Yep, rummaging through. Magic exploding gum wrappers. Shattered crystal ball. Cracked wand. Fake thumb. Glass bottle labeled ink. It's empty. Okay. You never know when you need an empty bottle of ink, right? Bottles are good. Now, let's see... Oh, I gotta get the ring back first. That's a good idea. Yeah. Good day, Prince Alex. There we go. I found this large pearl. Might it be valuable enough to ransom back my family ring? I have never seen such a perfect pearl. Certainly, you can have your ring back. I'm glad you didn't sell it. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. Of course you are. You would be cold-hearted if you felt any differently. I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. Well, that's good. Now... If this is indeed Sing Sing and she brings things back to Kasima. Well, the ring would tell me the prince is here. Tell her that the prince is here. Oh my gosh, there's a snake. Ah! Alexander holds out the insignia ring to the Nightingale, hoping this is the Nightingale Jello spoke of, that she might be able to take the ring to Kasima. Well, let's see. Well, that snake's not happy with us. Nightingale swoops down and grabs the ring. Flies off, maybe towards Kasima. Sing Sing! What have you got in your mouth, my pretty? The gold ring? Sing Sing! Where did you get this? Realm of Daventry? But this is Alexander's ring! Oh! My soul! You must be here! Sing Sing! I wish you could tell me what you've seen! Is he really here then? On this very island? Oh! If only I could leave this castle as easily as you! Take this ribbon, Sing Sing! If you know where he is, return it to him! And be careful, Alexander! It is so dangerous! And yet, I could not wish you away! My dear, what dulcet tones you speak with? Yeah, this casino sounds pretty dreamy. Yeah, man, she's a catch. You should, you should, you should learn how to make that voice. That will become my life goal, Rosa. That will become my life goal. Okay, photo Leia. Hmm. It's a red velvet hair ribbon. Could it be? Could it possibly belong to Casima herself? Or am I merely wishing it were so? Huh. <sighs> well, let's look at it, because we're creepy. It's made of the finest red velvet. Ooh, we have her hair. Can we get it? Yes! <laughs> wow, that creeper territory. Let's look at it. Here. The color of midnight. 
must belong to my one true love. Uh, let's look at the first lady you've ever met, Alexander, besides your sister. That's the point. Whoa. And Whoa. There is a trace of her perfume. It's like she's really here. All I need is the sound of her lovely, lovely voice. Well, now let's send her the, the love poem, since, you know, we want to be creepy as possible. Yeah. Fly to my love. Fly to my love, sing, sing. Sing, sing, my sweet. You bring another present. Let me see. It's a poem, sing, sing. What was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through? And binds my heart with links so tight, I cannot live without the sight of you. Oh, Alexander! I was hoping he returned to you. Take this to him while he waits. Hurry, my fleet one. Don't bother, uh, don't, don't bother minding my blushing. <laughs> I'd like to, to, to hear her on uh, American Idol. Oh, man, she went. What's the delivery? What does my true love say? It's she a note. Dearest Alexander, I cannot believe you are here, my friend. Please, please be careful. Abdul isn't without, isn't about to let anyone interfere with his plans. Watch out for Abdul's genie, Alexander, and do not do anything rash. I am not without resources, but I will prevail if I can only find some small means of defense. Do nothing to try to get to me. You must not be endangered again, for my sake. Greatly in your family's debt. Kasima. Alexander's hand trembles as he reads the note for the first time in his long search. He has heard her voice again, if only in writing. No words of love, only friendly concern. Friend! Is the maiden merely shy, or does she regard him only as a brother? God forbid. Yeah, your true love might not be in love with you, Alexander. Don't mess with my brain. I know she loves me. I know it! Well, if you know, we got to see her. She was blushing. Something fierce. Yeah, she really, really was. Either that, or that was some very, very opaque blush she was wearing. Maybe she'd no. like to cake it on. Maybe she's been standing on the ledge too long and got sunburned. No, it's because of love for me. Right. Oh, that oyster is still sleeping. That was one very effective book. Yep, well, let's go this way. Uh oh, someone's coming. Oh, shoot. That looks like an ugly person. Um, or people? Fire to the skies of the Isle of Dee! Watch for a foreign man, said he! With ears and nose, tongue, hands, and eyes, this nature cannot be disguised. If not it be, then man it dies. Oh, there's five of them. All time troubles, very well. Do that which you do so well. Uh oh. Oh, oh, wait, we have that flower that smells really bad. Okay, we can do that. Elizabeth holds up the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Time troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. Listen and hark you, Grohanor. Do your duty as you swore. With your ears, please tell us more. Uh-oh. We can't even yell at him. 
Uh, oh wait, the bird. The bird makes okay. noises. That's the only thing we have that makes noise. <laughs> we wind the tin nightingale. Crank, 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 crank. Yeah, real good. <laughs> you think he would hear the cranking? Wow, he, that gnome thing is quite the dancer. He's he's a uh, fierce guard of the isle. A nose is not a way to spy. My ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. And again, it's not just a regular bird. It's a nightingale. Day scrub frimp that we might know whether friend or whether foe. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, okay, well, wait, we've got that, um... No, you don't want to make him taste the rabbit's foot. The rabbits do. That'd be fuzz. All would taste is fuzzy. Oh. What about okay. that? I've been dead for a while too. Well, yeah. But I guess I guess give him the mint. Give him the tree loves hair. Yep. <laughs> Grump rump knows a tasty treat. It bothers not what others bleat. No danger is this one so sweet. Okay. Where to go? Truly, truly, use your hands. Is it beast or is it man? Oh, there's some big hands. Big gloves. Mm. Well, that's human hair. Um, so it's one of these two. Any, me, any, miny, mo. Sure, why? Be all you mad, what aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A hare is not at all tis sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. One last one. Oh, well, Bill Batter, we never fatter. Vision can't resolve this matter. Look you now and end this chatter. Well, shoot, it's hard to uh, be anything but a uh, human, or look like Maybe, a Maybe the inkwell it really has a genie in here and it'll, like, suck us in. Uh, sure. I can't think of anything else to use. No, I can't either. What? Oh! Oh my. Whoa. Gone. By all that's beauty is fair and sightly, for moron do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this, let's now away. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Invisible ink! Goodness gracious. Well, I guess it is the island of puns, so I guess it's fit. Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. It's lucky that Alexander happened to have all that in his pack. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh crap, I had it too. No, no. Little bees buzz around the books as though the pages were laden with the sweetest pollen. Maybe they're spelling bees. Hey, there's books here. Let's take them. Maybe one of them is a rare book. We can trade for that magic book. Whoa, what's this? A uh, caterpillar? I'm guessing he's a bookworm, considering how things are going right about now. <laughs> I bet. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize these books had an owner. I'm in need of a rare book. Huh. No owner. All books have owners, my good man, and this book owner, bookworm to you, wouldn't part with one of his books for anything. Isn't there something I can do for you to pay for the book? Hmm, let's see. Do you have an itinerant clause? Uh, no, no clauses at all, I'm afraid. 
That's a clause for concern. Oh. As an exception, you always should. Oh. Don't mind oxymoron and diphthong. They're fairly limited grammatical principles, you know. Hmm, let's see. A marsh pig that does taxes. Uh, I... No, I'm, I'm afraid not. A dangling participle? I'm fresh out. A purple fiddlewhacker? No, I don't think so. Sorry. An idiosyncrasy, perhaps. Great not. Ha! Huh. Then what good are you? Apparently not much. Uh, what's this? Oh, great. Spiders. Wow. Hiya, gorgeous. What a luscious-looking hunk of flesh you are. Uh, thank you? I guess? Who are you? How charming of you to pretend not to know! I'm Black Widow, of course, the femme fatale of all femme fatales. You know what I mean. Beep, beep. <laughs> that was a wink. You know, I was just thinking it was time I found my, my 50th, er, uh, uh, another husband. It would be quite a horror, an honor to have you, have me as bride. Just look at my beautiful weaving. So light, so delicate, you'll never want to leave my little nest. Hmm. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. Trap! Hmm. I mean, the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. A black widow sitting in the web, her long legs and hourglass on her belly, gives Alexander a knowing look. A thread is hanging from the otherwise tightly woven web. Let's pull it. Hey! Don't touch that! <laughs> Let's grab that. Love, oh, of course. Love. Like everything else. And it flew away. Yep. So he lost love. Sort of. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if that means something. 